Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another stream. Hello everyone, welcome back to another stream. Sorry. Okay, so uh, we are going to create this chair today. Okay, we'll create inside 3 Max and we'll Unwrap the UVs and export to Substance Paint. Okay, I'm not gonna create the wheels, maybe in case I don't need that. And these two small items, okay. So, once again, everyone, welcome back to the stream. And I'm gonna move this. Okay, here we'll start with a box. Okay, and then maybe you should change the size, then we will convert this one to editable poly, and I'm going to select this face, we need to insert. Then I'm going to extrude down Hold on, hold on I'm going to extrude it down then I'm going to insert long this time and extrude. Okay. Okay, now we need to chamfer all these all four corners. So I'm going to select this edge. This one and press ring, it will select all four of them. Now we can duplicate this one first and hide it. Okay, now we can change for this edge, I mean these four edges. Maybe four segments. Okay, something like this. See, now we need to create the hand brush and the rest of the parts then we will go to the bottom here okay so i'm going to save a copy again then we'll go to the left or any other side okay we need to create a box here so it will be like this I think we can create a spline for that and this yes. okay so from so this is the center right 
and change okay okay i'm gonna start from here and add a point here on this side and from here So something like this shape. See. Okay, now we can select this vertex and we have this fillet. Okay, I'm gonna give this a value. And for this one, just a little. something like this and maybe you should move this little bit to the front we hold on I think we should uh, create the basic shape then we can change for these vertex okay so we copy again. Now we'll create the macros. It should be like this. I think we can create another spline for that. Start on from here. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna draw straight. And add a point here, maybe two. Like this. Okay, something like this. Okay, we need to attach these two these two splines. Okay, good attach and click this one. Now I'm going to select this spline, move here, okay, we don't need to weld these two vertex, you can just place like this. Okay, I think we should detach this back. Sorry. Can we do that? Okay, we don't need to attach these two brushes. Sorry, spines. Okay, wait. We just need to place here. Yeah. Okay. Now we enable in report, change to rectangular, apply on material. Okay, we need to smooth these three edges, sorry vertex, maybe you can smooth it like this. Ok, 
be moving like this. Okay, and we can increase the thickness. And I'm going to convert this one to a table poly. Okay, hold on. Uh, we should move this text also. Maybe we can do that later, right? Now here, I'm going to move these two faces. Okay, I think we can actually... Move these... Okay, I'm going to move this vertex to, to the back and uh, right click, smooth it. Okay. I'm going to add the symmetry modifier. Okay, we can rotate this. You should right click and change to this here. You have one vertex here, right? Now it should be fine. Okay. Okay, we can actually keep this one like this one now and I click basic corner. No. Maybe we can use this fillet to change the shape. Okay, now it looks fine. Looks basically it should be like this. Maybe it should. Okay, I'm going to collapse all this and delete this side. Then we can change the shape and we'll select these faces. Okay, 
we might need to change for this sides. We can keep it in here. Okay, so now if I add the symmetry modifier back. Uh, Mike, hi, I'm broken the stream. Sadik, hi. No shame, I live in Okay, I'm going to delete this one for now, then we should change the thickness. Okay. I think we should change the thickness of at least for this side. Okay. Okay. And save a copy, then we select this edge and I'm going to change for it. Okay, hold on. Not right. Actually, we should select this face and extrude it. Okay, and extrude this down. Okay, now we can connect these, sorry, where these vertex. Then I'm going to select this edge and chamfer. Maybe four inches. Okay. Same here, I think we should temper this edge also. Maybe we can do that later. I'm gonna change it twice. Can do that later. Original, I will. Okay. Anyway, thanks for joining. Okay, now for the rest. If I saw, let's say copy. Just in case we can go back. Okay, we'll right click smooth this vertex. Okay, and this one make it to this is flat. And enable the port, change it to rectangular. I think it should match the size.
So here I'm going to uh, convert to HTML poly, then maybe you should. Extrude this one, or you can just keep like this. Now, at first, actually, you should select this edge and align this in y direction. Okay, now we can extrude it a little bit. okay so see the size actually a little bit off we just need to select this side okay and make sure you don't select any other side we only need one so okay now i'm going to convert this selection to vertex by holding down control and click Okay, now we have all these vertex selected on this side. Now I'm going to toggle this on, snap toggle by pressing S, and we can select one vertex and just snap to this vertex. So the size will actually match. Make sure you act have uh, this vertex enabled in here okay it's not gonna work you need to actually enable this so just right click on it and just check this box and you can do that I think that's to the sides actually not that great but it's fine see maybe you should okay we don't need a perfect one we just need almost good I think we need to increase the thickness a little bit. We can't do like this. No. We need a simple India with the corona render. Mm. Okay, bro, I'll try. Okay. No For the thickness, I think we should select all this or wait. We can just select all these vertex from this side. Check the size. Okay, it's fine. But we need to increase the thickness of this also. I'm going to select all these vertex and we can just uh, snap these vertex in here, but there is no it.
we need the subtext right Okay. Okay. Now, if I add a symmetry modifier, we need to change the shape. Then we can reduce the length if you want to. Here, here we will go to the front. Okay, I'm going to select all these objects and we have these two unused or unwanted thing. Okay. Yes, remove it. Again, I'm going to select all these objects, then move it down. We can just select these faces. This uh, make planner. Okay. I'm going to change the shape a little bit by doing this. Okay, now if I turn this back on, the shape will be like this. So we need to change for this. Uh, this edge and Now I'm going to select this edge. If I Same for okay. maybe five segments. Be safe. Okay, and we have these edges overlapping. We can remove it. Okay. 
ये इतनी मिश्रण इंग्लिश थी लेंथ बिट सॉरी लिटिल बिट इट्स टू स्मॉल राइट मे बी यू शुड रिमूव दिस थिंग इन दिस कॉर्नर वट टू द फ्रंट एंड सी Select this vertex. If we don't need this uh, corner, I think we can just select all these edges. Control and back space for a moment. we can keep on edge and it's position okay We still need to change the shape. We only have a couple of segments here. Okay, I think we should move all this the text all the way down. Yeah. Which actually feel like a thin background, so And we don't need this corner here. Uh, can either remove it or weld all this. Okay, you can keep this in here.
Oh no, for it and this one gone. We still need to think. Maybe you should move this down. Can select this edge. We can do that. Select this one, maybe. Okay, we can change for that, right? So, because of this smoothing group, we can just clear all. Should be fine. In here, we can change for it and remove these unwanted edges. We'll see what happened. But we can clear it. Okay, almost there. Maybe you should. Clear all these smoothing groups again. We need to reduce the thickness of this side. Least from here. So I'm going to select this edge. Maybe you don't need this one. And if I move this back, well, I think it should move down. We have this vertex from nowhere. Okay, I think we should move this down. And move a little bit to the back. Okay. We feel this area actually is so small, right? Maybe it should move this down. Okay. Okay, what if I
Okay, I think we'll see now, right? We have this problem. I think we have an error vertex. Okay, yeah, this will do it then. No. I'm gonna call it solve. I don't like this area. Thing we should follow like this. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna keep it like this. To change. Okay, now. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate this face and launch it and assign element or object. I think we should keep it an element. Then we need to change the size of the sides, maybe this much. Okay, and I'm going to select this border and extrude down. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think we need to go back a little bit. Okay, mm, wait. I'm gonna move this little bit of oh. Then I'm gonna select this border and cap it. So oh, it will be like this. And I'm gonna select this face, convert to edges, and chamfer. And it won't work, so maybe you should change the mode to what? The uniform is better. Work in this. Select this face, insert. Okay. And I think.
you should build all these vertex We just need only one. One each color. Now we can reduce the size. Maybe you should move this link up to the top. And insert one more time, maybe. Or you can just convert the selection to edges and same for I think we should same for this one first. Okay. Now convert the selection to edges and maybe you should build all these vertex then Just change the mode to uniform and it will be fine. Okay, here we need to move this a little bit to the edge and the symmetry modifier also should be here. Okay, now we can go for the legs, right? We should invert this car like this. We can do that later. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna save a copy. Actually, I forgot one thing to create that wooden part.
you can create a site. I think I should move down on this one. And we'll see. Uh, we can create the left for now, then we'll change the, this part. Uh, font. I want to go back a little. Now for the left. So we should change for these uh, hard edges. Okay. Select this one and ring it then safer okay i think we should remove this Then temper it like this. Okay, I should change it to maybe point seven. Okay. With the two segments. Okay, I'm gonna do the same here. Maybe we can it up and see finish the leg and we might need to change the shape a little bit so I want to change that it okay for the legs go to the left and create a box here And uh, this the height, maybe. So it should be in the center. Okay, then we need to create a cylinder. Maybe you can use a spline for that. Okay, we'll change it to radial and increase the thickness. And this size to maybe 20. Or 18 20. He will convert this one to editable poly. And I'm going to add one segment here. Then select all these faces and extrude. Then move it down. 
And we should same for this box. Okay, we'll convert the center table poly and control it, select all these edges and same for it with the two segments. Bring this up. Okay, now we need to create another cylinder. Maybe can you say cylinder for that? Okay. Now change the size to maybe 24 and we can also convert to editable poly. This No, I'm going to connect with the two seconds. Okay, and I'm going to select all these faces and extrude and set. Okay, from this we can connect the legs, so we need to create another box or spline for that. We'll go to the top. Get my friend. Again. You know, I'm going to create a new line. Start from here. Mm 
node in here. Then enable new port, change your rectangle. Now we can do this to editable fully. Um, sure. And I don't segment here in the center. Move these text down. So we need to change for this one. Okay. I'm going to select this edge. Change for it in four segments, maybe five. And change to twice. Okay. So oh, this should actually touch the floor. And we should uh, change for this set also. So I'm going to select this. Change it maybe. And I think we should change the size. Only what if I reduce the length? So basically, length should not exceed. Okay. 
okay again Okay, then we should look. Maybe we should erase the size from the sides. Okay, now I'm going to change the pivot to center and duplicate to the opposite side. Make sure you actually change it to geometry or sometimes it won't show up in the painter or on the so now I select this tool and I'm going to rotate this by double this hold on shift then duplicate Keep like this. Okay. We still need to clean this up. Other than that, it's fine, I think. Okay, I'm not going to create the wheel and everything, so only a wooden chain. Okay, and here we need to remove these edges. And I'm going to delete on the side. If I select all this, So basically we should this the height of this um, backrest we can place that remaining shape okay I'm gonna keep it like this and Go to the left side, say copy, then you say sort of create a new spline starting from here, add one point here somewhere, then another one here and connect to this mesh okay. 
now if I select these two vertex I can right click smooth it we should reduce the amount of this car okay and we can enable the report um, reduce the size Level material okay I think we should increase the length a little bit and reduce the width Okay, a little like this. Yeah, I think we should uh, change for this side a little bit more. We can increase the length. Okay, we just need to increase the length. That's it. Then we need a total of eight. Okay. I'm gonna convert the sound to a double poly and we'll add this not the sun. We have this FF D four and four. Try to change the try to change the shape. Something like this. 
Let's select all this movie and scale down. To the back a little bit, maybe. Okay, no collapse on. Now we can duplicate. We need top to eight, I think, one, three. Should be in here. Again, we can pull the symptom out of here. I think we should reduce the size. Okay, yes. try to change the shape, okay. I think this should be like this more curve. Okay, maybe you should do the same for the front. Yeah, the symmetry modifier. See, this now actually looks more better than the other one. Right, it's much better, right? Okay. 
okay and a collapse sound and convert sorry sorry copy and if you want you can duplicate place in this We have this check process rule. Okay. Well, now if I create a spline, we can actually make this which follow that spline, right? We can just select this two. Uh, with high in the stream. Okay. Now we can actually start detailing. When I solve this, then you can select these edge and temporary. You should change to Mm -hmm. Okay, now we just need to select this edge and plus ring. It will actually select all these edges. Okay, wait. We need to change for right. So low poly. So we don't need to change for maybe reduce the amount maybe.
you know what we don't need to do that we can and for you know high poly so we might need to remove the segment from here also anyway i'm gonna add the symmetry modifier back Select this one. Okay. Okay, just remove all this. Okay. We don't need that. Let's press control and backspace. Then clear all the smoothing loops and renew on. Okay, in here, I'm going to delete these three and keep it only one. You can duplicate and see finish the and drop it. Here we need to change the shape. Three, maybe four. Okay. So, yes, I think that is sorry, that is a basic look body, right? It's actually maybe you should remove a couple of edges. Okay. And you want to actually cut or cut these lines. You can see it right. Okay. Yeah, select. So we can start dropping the UVs. I want to start from the sun. Are this undrop UVW modifier? Select this side. Pick planner map, select the side, pick planner map, select the side. Ok, 
Okay, and I'm gonna relax one by one. What if I relax all of them together? No, plus control A and package. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate and paste here. This here. Okay, maybe we should reduce the size. Okay, select this side first. We keep on our map. Again, keep on our map. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to collapse, so then select all these settings and press hold to actually build all these and wand or vertex. So now if I press skip panel map, it will be fine. See, we have one and wand or vertex. So I like it. Thing. Oh, should be fine. That so now I'll just select these three and press control A. We can just select like this and keep on our map and like so. Oh, this packet. Tools legs.
it's the same step over and over again so Really. and back okay, here I'm gonna delete all this we have three out of six right F. we need five right? Or you can just uh, copy the UV and paste it into another mesh. Okay, now add it. Open the editor. We will start from here, then wait. We select all this and grow the selection. And click the mirror map. Again, and press grow the selection. It will actually select the inside of this part. And go planner map like it. Okay, we will just select all like this and then on it. Maybe we can use this select projection and see direction and relax it. And this one, okay. sorry, plan our projection. Sorry, keep okay. planner map. Hey, I'm gonna see plan our projection. Sorry, symmetrical projection. And we can actually. Straighten this That's it. Now, control A and backwards. We can actually break this thing. And if I straighten it, you can use like this if you want. And I don't know. Okay. Just keep like this. Back it. Okay. 
no without this. Okay, I'm gonna attach these three and open the editor. Okay, here I'm gonna select this box and go to two so mapping, Latin mapping. Let me do this. What do you like more 3D Max or Blender? Actually, I don't know much about this Blender, bro. Anyway, most I help the strip here. Okay, I'm going to select these three sides and use the quick planner map or planner projection, C direction and relax. Select the other side. Now we have the cylindrical projections. This is keep runner map. Uh, straighten this, I think. Nope. Then take a projection. We have actually two hidden faces no press grow selection And this is good an army. Yeah. We have one more. So okay, now press control A to select all this and Let's back. Now this last one, right? Select this sound, keep the map. The other side, okay. 
and the rest of the cells. Okay, I think that's the last one. So I'm gonna change the pivot. Then attach all this together. Great. Change the rotation back to zero. Is duplicate mirror it so select these two now attach all this. I don't change the old and add this and up UW one more time and roll A now if I pack this things fine right Okay, and try this. Now we'll just unhide all, delete this some, go to edit, go on. I'm gonna create a high poly. Add this low poly. Select the hyperbole collapse on to save a copy. I'm going to add this same for modifier. Change to earn smooth edges and filter. Okay, change the value. Okay, now if I add this turbo spot, I think it should be fine.
You see, we have this weird shape over here, and it's okay. I think it's fine. Okay, uh, now we can export this to Painter, right? I'm gonna add one thing. Yeah. Like this edge, and I'm gonna extrude inside. Maybe you should chamfer these two edges manually. Hold on. I'm going to select this it. Maybe you should change for it. And we don't need any segment. Okay. Select this. I think we should be here, right? Okay. No, I'm going to keep it in here. Okay, insert a little bit. Then it's true. And We are all this more thing different only on this. Okay. So this is a high poly. Now we can export this to painter. Semi copy. It collapse all. We can still add detail. Yes, okay, run it. Run it. Edit, sorry, export selected. So, high poly.
Um, this is upper. Okay, we can open the painter. Okay, go to file, new, and we can select our mesh, some tail, some for static mesh, okay, and it will open here with our You can see the UVs and Okay, now go to texture set settings, open the bake mesh maps, change it to K or 4K. I'm gonna change the dilation to maybe 2. Okay. Play with this value, I don't know what it does. Okay, and here you can add the high poly mesh and bake all the and you can actually change this anti-aliasing to 8 if you want, but it's going to take some time maybe. Okay. I'm going to check this ambient occlusion, okay, it's going to take some time if you change this. So, let's bake. Okay, now you can go back, change this back to maybe 2, and check all this except ambient operation. Um, okay. So the sorting. Things fine, right? Yep, we can now pause the max. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Okay, here we need to create two different groups, one for the wooden material and for the cushion. So, group this layer, add a mask, black mask. Okay, I'm going to select this polygon fill, then select this mesh fill. I'm going to select this. Then right click on this mask and invert it. 
it will actually select the mesh except this this area okay we can add a material okay no You can rename this if you want. I'm going to duplicate this layers. Maybe we can add a leather material. Okay, I'm going to invert the mask. Okay. Then change the material. Maybe we can add a fabric. Or this artificial leather. In leather is better. <laughs> Okay, I'll keep this and we can change the color. And you can see the chair so. Maybe you can copy this color. Here you see the color right now. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it. Keep this one. Here we can change the scale to maybe two or four. Then create a new fill layer, or we can just duplicate this base layer and add a black, sorry, black mask. So smart mask we can add edge damages or scratches all this edge strong then change the color Now I'm going to change the material. Now we can see the material, right? Okay, maybe we should change the
change this mark mask to add scratches That's it. And I'm going to create a new fill layer and should find on alpha. Okay, maybe you should. create a new pain layer okay. and disable everything except this normal map go to hard surface okay. add one of this okay. you can add this one. Let's stop in here and remove this alpha and paint okay. and if we change the size to 4k we can see it more clearly I think. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to change to this in and out. Okay, I'm going to do the same over here. Okay, you can tile this. I'm gonna change the scale to four. Okay. Okay, I think guys, uh, that's it for the chair. Maybe we can add some damages or dirt to this. You 
Okay, I'm going to export the texture in a PNG format. Okay, do this solo. I'm going to export one more time with a sorry, with a different No, okay, open the normal set tool by we can import the model in here. This is only one ninety. And a shadow cancer. To the sky, change it to color and the color to black. Now we can start importing the text. Text is. So this is the base color, this is the normal map and the reference we don't have the metallic in it and the occlusion maybe the occlusion we don't need to add the height map okay And I'm going to duplicate this. Wait. Then I'm going to add the second. Text assets of nurse Okay, <coughs> and we can add a light. guys uh, that's it for the chair so if you want to ask me you can just come and our next stream will be on friday let me say something for our next tutorial and i'll try it
and you can see these small screws so guys that's it for today again thank you and thanks for joining the stream thanks for support and let's see this Guys, bye bye. See you. We'll see you on Friday, guys.